Good morning everyone, I'm Akshita Joshi from grade 11 and today I will be speaking on achieving success. Now, when we talk the word success, what comes to our mind first is becoming someone really great in a field that we prefer, that we choose for our own future. So like, if you want to become successful, it means that you want to achieve something, you want to achieve your goals. But I often come across people who say that, you know, if you not succeed, you have to study hard, you have to work hard, you have to like spend days and nights with books. Well, I just don't agree with that, actually. Wait, fine, you can sit with books all the time, you can sit on the computer researching and something, researching on a field that you want to pursue your career in. But until and unless you don't have a passion to do stuff, I swear by God, you're not going to succeed. For example, there's this guy who wants to know to bother someday. And he's like, I want to play at like quite the national level, the same level. I want to be like Ronaldo or Fernando Torres. But he's not even a district level player. He hasn't practiced. He's just dreaming. He doesn't have the passion, but he just says like he doesn't want to be a footballer. The way they say it can't be like boom. I mean it's gone. It's not possible. Now for example, Someone says, I want to a good game. Like, you know, I just want to like, hit the stock market. I just want to have my own ball of money and all. Well, well, you need resources for the money. Okay? But it's not that you, you ask someone the resources, you get them very quickly. You're not going to succeed in making money. You have to first plan out what you want to do. And to plan out, you must also have a passion, the enough strength that is going to lead you to the thing. Yes, I want to do this someday, and that will make me succeed. Now, for example, uh, in the book The Secret, the documentary is there, um, Rhonda Wines, the author, she has widely stated that you get attracted to things in the universe very quickly. Every person demands every other thing that he sees that I wanted. There's nothing wrong with demanding, there's nothing wrong with wishing, but until and unless you don't have that inner push in you, something that you know just brings you in your mind that yes, I need it, it's not going to happen. Now, in the secret, there was this man, I actually don't remember about him, but he said that this is my dream house and I want it. A big dream house and I want it. He works, he doesn't work hard, but he definitely does like work smart, I should rather say. But one day, his kid asks him, he's working in his actually office, in his office in the house, and his kid asks him that, Dad, what's in this box? What's in this carton? He has this photograph. He made this sort of collage board of photos five years ago with the photo of his dream house pinned on that board. He, his, his kid shows him the board and he's like, this man starts crying. Can I want to tell about it, exactly? He was emotional. He was sitting, he was sitting in that house. Because he was exactly so. He was sitting in that house. Now, what do you think made him get to that house? Working hard, working smart, reading books, something like that. Passion. Exactly. Passion of what? Passion of The power. What's all the passion I'm talking about? I've not watched the doctor. So why is the passion? Okay, anyway. He, it wasn't, in this case, it wasn't only about passion. He had been dreaming about that house since, right since when he'd seen it. You dream big doesn't mean that you want to achieve small. You dream big, that dream, the big dream, it grows larger and larger day by day. That leads to a passion within you. You get the passion, you are definitely halfway there achieving your dream, achieving your goals. It doesn't matter that you have to set a goal, but if you don't have that inner feeling that yes, I can do it, you are not going to get it. You're never going to get it. Now, I have this friend of mine, uh, she just told me about her father. Her father went through very bad financial conditions. So, like, his business went down, and, you know, very, very concerned her brother was supposed to get to university by then. But uh, things didn't work out, so he had to drop two years because of financial conditions. And one day, his father, her father realizes 
But there is something I'm missing in all There is something I'm missing. I'm thinking of sitting on the net, searching for jobs, asking my friends to, you know, let me know if any jobs are available. But why am I not getting a job? I mean, there's no doubt that the man was working hard. Day and night, spending day and night, not giving time to his family. Because he thought that, no, if I get a job, I get a better future, my husband gets a better future. But then, you know what? He didn't get a job. One day, he thinks that I need to do something of my own again. He had a business before, he went, I need to do something of my own again. He dreamt big. No matter how many times your dreams break, shatter, bolt, you can dream big. You keep adding those piles of dreams you've had in the past, they are a big dream. He merged all of what he could. He pooled resources, he loose contacts. He thought, where, where could I reach to my goal? He worked smart. That led to a passion in him, a push in him, that now he is way too successful. You see, he achieved success. So what our main goal about achieving success is really dream big. Like, do things with his eyes. Think of things that would make you feel good, would ensure you that you have a better future. But if you don't have a passion, you don't succeed. Thank you.